Hi, everyone. It's Monica again. Today, I want to raise awareness about a serious issue that many people are not aware of e Tylenol poisoning. This dangerous condition is more common than you might think and can have severe consequences if left untreated. Tylenol, a commonly used pain reliever and fever reducer, contains acetaminophen which, when taken in large doses or combined with alcohol, can cause liver damage or even death. It's important to take this issue seriously and to be aware of the signs and symptoms of Tylenol poisoning, such as nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and yellowing of the skin or eyes. If you suspect that you or someone you know may have overdosed on Tylenol, seek medical attention immediately. By being informed about this issue and taking proper precautions, we can help prevent Tylenol poisoning and keep ourselves and our loved ones safe. It is important to be mindful of the recommended dosage when taking Tylenol, as ingesting excessive amounts can lead to serious health consequences. Extra Strength Tylenol contains 500 mg of acetaminophen per tablet, and exceeding 4 g per day, 8 tablets total, or 12 tablets of regular strength, 325 mg, would be considered an overdose. The liver is the main organ affected by Tylenol, and if left unchecked, an overdose can lead to liver failure. It is crucial that anyone suspected of having an overdose seek immediate medical attention, preferably by ambulance, to prevent further harm. Remember to always follow the recommended dosage and consult with a healthcare professional, if in doubt, about how much medication to take. Aspirin poisoning may occur suddenly after taking a high dose or gradually, after taking lower doses over an extended period of time. It's essential to recognize the signs and symptoms of aspirin poisoning, which may include ringing in the ears, nausea, vomiting, drowsiness, confusion, and rapid breathing. If you suspect someone has aspirin poisoning, it's important to seek medical attention immediately. The diagnosis is based on blood tests and the person's symptoms. Treatment involves giving activated charcoal by mouth or stomach tube to prevent further absorption of the drug. Additionally, fluids and bicarbonate may be given intravenously to correct acid-base imbalances caused by aspirin toxicity. For severe cases of aspirin poisoning, hemodialysis may be necessary to remove the drug from the bloodstream. Rapid treatment can help prevent serious complications and improve outcomes for those affected by aspirin poisoning. Tylenol poisoning can be a serious and potentially life-threatening condition, but there are effective treatments available. The first line of treatment for Tylenol poisoning is activated charcoal which should be administered as soon as possible to reduce the absorption of aspirin. For moderate or severe cases, fluids containing sodium bicarbonate are given intravenously, with potassium added unless there is kidney damage. This mixture helps move aspirin out of the bloodstream and into the urine. If other treatments are not effective and the person's condition continues to worsen, hemodialysis may be necessary. Hemodialysis involves using an artificial kidney to filter out poisons and remove aspirin from the body. With prompt and appropriate treatment, most people with Tylenol poisoning can make a full recovery. It's important to be aware of the risks associated with acetaminophen, a common over-the-counter pain reliever found in more than 100 products. While it is generally a safe drug, taking too much can be harmful and even toxic. This is especially true for young children, as many pediatric preparations contain acetaminophen in liquid, tablet, or capsule form. Parents may inadvertently give their child too much by using multiple products simultaneously, without realizing they all contain the same active ingredient. It's crucial to read labels carefully and follow dosage instructions to avoid accidental overdose. Although acetaminophen is generally safe when used as directed, it's always better to on the side of caution and seek medical attention if you suspect an overdose has occurred. In conclusion, it is important to always prioritize safety when storing medications. Whether it be in a safe or cabinet locked up, it is crucial to keep them out of reach from children or anyone who could potentially be harmed by ingesting them. Taking the time to read labels and ensuring that you are not multi-dosing on medication can prevent harmful side effects and potential overdoses. When in doubt, always ask a professional for guidance. While Tylenol is a great product when used properly, it is also effective when used alongside Advil. 
but let's save that conversation for another day. Remember, taking care of your health starts with taking care of your medications and using them responsibly.